Five minutes is one of, as, uh, one of my old improv characters. Pander and Pascal. Sometimes there's Pander and Pete. And um, I was come up here and give her a tight five. Old Pander and Pascal. And I was like, you know, that's what Jimmy Kimmel does every night. <laughs> Might as well let him have it for now. Just let him have that bit. So, Me versus Jimmy Kimmel, James Corbin, and their entire staff. You. Give me Carl Callen and Fallon and the other pussy can get some too. That's good. Bunch of hacks. <laughs> Remember last week, Angelo? Yeah. That reminded me of like homeroom. But it was a why the fuck are we even here? <laughs> I just wanna want go. There's 99 genders, but a bitch ain't one. <laughs> Call them gals or heifers, they like that one. You ever suck on a raccoon picker? <laughs> Y'all ain't never made no moonshine. Y'all know titties ain't never won the Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> you believe that? You believe it? Like some people with titties have won some, but titties themselves ain't never won the Nobel Peace Prize. The very thing that can shut a crying baby up. <laughs> Want to hear a hot take, Angelo? Yes. Oh, yeah. Lyndon B. Johnson did more damage to the black communities in America than slavery. That's a pretty hot take. <laughs> Bone canceled. <laughs> it's the truth. Hot take number two, shutting down the Keystone Pipeline was stupid. Because we still need the same amount of fuel. So now we're gonna pay a premium to get it shipped in from somewhere else. On ships that burn more fossil fuel to land and then get shipped on railroads. I wonder who owns those railroads. And those shipping companies. We fight and they collect. Everything that's wrong with Hollywood. Gina Carano got 44 times the coverage as Joss Whedon. <laughs> Right, the diddler, another diddler. They're like, oh, what? I didn't know that. There's no fact check next to a Borat film. I think Steph Curry's released one of the most impressive things in basketball history, the way he gets it off with such accuracy. But you think he could have played in the 80s? I don't think, right? You imagine him coming off a Bill Lane beard with some elbows and shit. Rub off a of Rick Mahorn and John Sally. Dennis Rodman hit him with fucking Joe Dumore with an uppercut and Isaiah Thomas will give him the finger. <laughs> He's like, why the fuck are there six men on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> fucking get hit with a microwave. You're like, God damn it, Vinny, we're playing basketball. <laughs> I had a fadeaway jumper that was unblockable. I had hops, so I would jump and lean back and if the big fellas came, I'd do to Jordan, you know, you put the leg up in between them. But I'd kick it back like this and give her full throttle. <laughs> if you give her full throttle like that, you graze their balls and they fall over. You ain't blocking my jumper. Between me and Sean McDonough, we look like we fucked at least three cousins. <laughs> right? You do the math. I'm up two to one. We fuck each other's cousins because you can't fuck your own. That'd be weird. All right, that's enough. I appreciate y'all. Give it up for Tadpole. Yeah. Ripping everybody's 